Hey folks, welcome back to the B29 restoration project. Here we've got the underside of the B29 fuselage. Uh, everything has been glassed, carbon fiber reinforcement put in, and we're working on getting the gear door molds made. Uh, what I did is I took just some insulation foam, cut some square blocks and kind of put it in places. And then I'm using a hot wire to go around and just rough out the shape of it, which is what I'm doing now. Uh, I've got a feather cut set up. Um, you see, I've got some uh, metalized aluminum tape here, just kind of to protect the balsa wood fiberglass area for if um, I hit it, but I'm really not trying to, to cut it perfectly, just staying slightly above it and then just slowly working our way across it trying to stay just above the, the shape of the nacelle. Okay folks, as you can see, I now have the foam blanks for the gear doors sanded to shape and I have covered it in the aluminum uh, HVAC tape. Uh, the original stuff I was using, that green stuff, um, it actually just didn't stick very well. So I decided to switch to the HVAC tape. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take some vinyl masking tape and I'm gonna outline the gear door area on all of these. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take some blue painter's masking tape and I'm going to kind of create a, a resin dam, if you will. Basically, I'm gonna put it here and just take it down on one edge press it to the surface, I'm gonna fold it up and then fold it on itself and then kind of create a ledge here to prevent any epoxy from running down the, the side of the fuselage here on our freshly glassed surface.
Okay, we've got the uh, gear door outlines outlined with the tape. You see, we got our uh, masking tape dam, and then we got clear plastic just over things so we don't drip any uh, epoxy on the wing and the raw fiberglass. So now what we're going to do is we're going to start putting a couple of layers of fiberglass on. I like to go with two layers of six ounce for the inner layer. It's a little bit more of a coarse weave, so when you go to glue stuff like gear doors or any structure or hinges, control horns, stuff like that, it's just a little bit coarser, so it gives you more of a, a bite to it. So we'll do two layers of that, and then we'll do two layers of uh, just a normal 6K carbon fiber, and then we'll do another layer of six ounce glass, and then a layer of one and a half ounce glass, and then peel ply, and that'll make up our layup for each of the gear doors. It's a little bit lighter than what I typically do, but there's a good bit of structure that goes on the inside of these. So that structure will help add a lot of rigidity to it with not a lot of weight. So time to get to work. folks there we have it we have the nose gear door blank laid up the right main gear door blank and the left main gear door blank so gear door stuff is done cured well done and ready to cure uh, once these are fully cured for about 24 hours or so I will pop them off they'll get trimmed down to a rough shape and then they'll put get put aside for now. Uh, I will probably wait to do all the hinging and everything later on. I'm gonna try and get the airplane glassed and then primer and presentable for an event come the end of July. It's looking like it'll be pretty likely that that will be possible. So that's gonna be the focus for now is just getting this thing more or less presentable so we can take it that, to that event and just kind of get it back out there and show it off for a little bit but that's pretty much it for this video uh, unfortunately I lost a lot of footage again with a GoPro I learned the hard way that you can't use an SD card reader 
to take video files off the GoPro SD card for whatever reason. So a lot of the footage of, well, you know, pretty much all of the footage of the bottom of the the left wing and the nacelle and glassing the whole airplane on the bottom got lost. But you didn't really miss a whole lot. It's really just more of the same. And I've got the whole top of the glass. So like I said, that's pretty much it for this video. This is one of two or three upgrades that I'm kind of doing to the airplane that aren't very significant, but I think it'll add a lot of character to the model. So until next time, y'all have a great day.